Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. I'm John, and this is the KAA Kaiju Kembo Deep Dive. Thank you for joining us. My guest today is Grandmaster Armando Saldana coming out of Texas. Thank you for joining us, Grandmaster. Thank you for having me. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your background, how you got into the martial arts? Well, uh, there was a guy by the name of John Valdivia from Mercedes, who was the only Kaju Kimbo guy in the whole valley. So I heard about him, and uh, I decided I wanted to learn martial arts. So I joined with him, and I studied with him for like 12 years. It was He, he had the Kaju Kimbo with the Wildcat system, or the Yum Yow used to call it. Mm -hmm. Yummy, and uh, and his instructor was in California's uh, John Valdez, which he never, he he just lost lost uh, time with him. So Johnny was all alone in a sense in the Little Grand Valley, the only kind of Kimball. Then after twelve years of studying with John, Jose Quiroz comes into the picture. John meets Jose in a tournament, and. Jose, oh, Kaju Kimbo, oh, Kaju Kimbo. So, so they, they, they meet. I'm not there at that time. So uh, Jose says, hey, you know what? What, what style of Kaju Kimbo are you? So, you know, so he's talked about it. So anyway, I'm, I'm the Gator method. I'll teach you the Gator method. And I can, you know, so uh, John, John told Jose, you know what? I'll tell you what. I've got, I'm, I've got the Kaju Kimbo, my, what I'm teaching but I'll give you Armando, my student, and teach teach it to Armando, and he'll absorb it, and 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 uh, that's what that's what he did. So he gave me to, to Jose, and then Jose starts training me the Gator method. Excellent. He comes every month on a monthly basis from California, flying down. How was it different for you? I am, was it feel like a different style when that happened? Well, uh, it was. Uh, it wasn't different in a sense. I mean, it's 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 a variation of everything. Mm -hmm. But but uh, when I started learning the Gaylor method, I started loving it because of the moves. And Jose was real precise about me doing the moves precisely the way Gaylor taught him to him. He was mm -hmm. very particular about that. And, and then the Gaylor method, and, and we heard about Gaylor. And wow, I mean, it, it was something like like he was like a rock star to me when I heard about him. You know, a, a, a legend, a legacy, a legend. You know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, that, that amazed me, and, and I wanted to learn that system. And uh, after a while, Gaylord finds out about me. He's hearing about me. I don't know this, what's going on, but uh, at one point, when he comes into the picture, I decide to uh, do a video. I, already, I had already been studying like for about three years, close to four years, the Gaylord method. So I was ready to, I wanted to meet Gaylord. He wanted to meet me and, and John, because he had heard from us from, from Jose. So, so he finds out. So what I do, I do, a, I, I create a video on myself doing the techniques, you know, all the, the punch arts and grab arts and so forth, the pinions. And I sent it to him and I wrote a letter. He didn't know, he didn't actually know who I was. He heard about me. <laughs> so a couple of days when he receives the, the video, a couple of days later, all of a sudden the phone rings and it's him. Armando, yes, sir, this is John Gaylord, Professor Gaylord, and so forth. I said, uh, I got your video. I love it. Hey. And I tell you what, I'm flying to Texas. I want to meet you personally. Wow. He flies down. Wow. 1993. Huh. Flies down to Texas. The first time I ever met him was, you know, met him face to face was at the airport when we went to go pick him up. Mm -hmm. So me and John and Jose go, go over to pick him. They take me with him. You got to understand that I was John's student and then Jose's student. And then now I'm going to go to the main guy, you know, I'm being passed on. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, I mean, it was, it was, it was like a, like a dream come true to me actually, mm -hmm. you know, going, meeting Johnny was a dream, meeting Jose was a dream, and then meeting great grandmaster Gaylord. And, and I mean, that was just, wow. Mm -hmm. When I first saw him at the, at the airport, I mean, I was just waiting for him to, to, to see him. And uh, when I saw him coming down from the stairs, I, I knew it was him. 
he, 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 he shined, he, you know, he had, he had this shyness and this glowing, mm -hmm. positive uh -huh. uh, power, you know, sort of speaking. But uh, we finally shake hands and we present ourselves, take him to the hotel and so forth. But uh, that was the first time that I met him. That was on a Friday, Friday when he arrived. Uh -huh. Saturday, we have a tournament. We've got this huge tournament ready. Yes. You, under, yes. you gotta understand that at that time, Johnny wasn't recognized or really respected as a as a martial artist because he didn't have anybody above him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We didn't have nobody above. Mm -hmm. And these guys had their their senseis from Japan and Koreans and all that because I mean, the styles that, that they were around the valley, right? Right. We were the only Kaji Kimbles, but we didn't have anybody above us. Mm -hmm. Lord and behold, here comes Gaylord. Now we got somebody way up here. And uh, at the tournament, he he, uh, he uh, did, this is a great demonstration at the tournament the, the following day. There's a terrific uh, demonstration. I mean, so graceful, those moves when I first saw him, oh, live for the first time. I was amazed. Hmm. Beautiful the way he moved. I mean, just beautiful moves. Yeah, I've heard a lot. That flow uh, that he's got, yeah. It, it, it's the way he flowed, the way Wow, boom, bam, boom, boom, you know, just like that, so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was just like this. And I was fortunate that he was going to be my teacher mm -hmm. and my great grand master. At that time, he was Professor Gaylord, mm -hmm. 1993. So uh, at that same tournament, he uh, cut everything out, he stopped everything. And uh, he promoted me and John and Jose in front of all the black people in the Rio Grande Valley. So now that nobody had anything to say about John, it was about, for me, it was about John and Jose so they could get the recognitions. Right. And to them, it was about me so that I could get, my, get recognized and be respected, you know, as a true martial artist, you know, in a sense, you know. Yeah, yeah. But uh, right there and then, at that day, on for, uh, on uh, John and I, we were well respected in the whole Rio Grande Valley because they knew that we we were legit. Through Gaylord, you know, we, were, we were under Gaylord. That's that's what, that's what happened in 1993. So he said, "You're the chief instructor. You're going to be leading the classes. You're going to teach the Gaylord because I don't want to actually learn the system." Right. Okay. And uh, uh, one of my one of my requests was that as long as that that John would get promoted uh, uh, above me a stripe. Mm -hmm. Whenever I get promoted, so Gaylord says, "Whatever you want, Armando," and I respect you for that. So, so John would always get a, a rank because because of him, I was able to absorb that knowledge. Well, he was he your was, original instructor, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so so I and of course was uh, Jose Quiroz also. He he was my instructor, so he he got ranked because Jose was a direct student of of, of right. 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 Yeah. He was a student. So uh, when uh, when he first gave you that uh, that promotion, I was wondering, was he wearing the uh, the bolo that you're wearing right now? Yes, yes, he was. Yeah, that was his. Yeah, that was, this was his. Uh, actually, this one uh, was given to me during uh, the, the memorial uh, by the Gaylor sisters. They gave me this. I see. But he did give me a lot of things. The last thing he gave me, oh, sorry about that. He gave me this. Huh. Him and John and, and Jose gave me this in 2008. Uh -huh. 2008. That was Sounds the last right. thing he gave me. Uh -huh. He said that uh, I saw him walking around with a box and this and that. And I thought, well, let me present Johnny or something. Or, or, or I don't know what it was going on. Little did I know what he again. He stopped the seminar and he did the presentation and he said he wanted to present this to me that I was his warrior. Uh -huh. because, uh, and at the same time, well, in 2007, he promoted, he had already promoted me and John to professor. And he also promoted me to be for to be the uh, the uh, KA representative in the state of Texas. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, he gave me the certificate. I've got the certificates and all that. He would always give me certificates for everything. He was he was real good about that. And uh, but that was those were. I mean, he was fabulous. Just, mm -hmm. this, this man was fabulous. He Tell was, me a little more. When you mention he's fabulous, what was he like? How would you describe him as a person? He was down to earth. I mean, he wasn't. He, he was down to earth. He was, he was uh, like a father, a brother, 
a compadre. <laughs> you know, he was everything. You know, and uh, I loved. I, I just loved the guy. Yeah, I loved him so much. I loved him dearly. And, and we, we 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 got really close. We uh -huh. got really really close. We had a lot of things in common. Yeah, a lot I, of things in common. I hear one of the things in common. I want to ask you. Uh, I do understand you have a, a nickname of uh, Kid Zapper. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> so I want to ask a little bit about you. I know you, you're also a musician. We've talked before about music as well, and, and uh, that's awesome. And I hear Grandmaster Gaylord was quite into music himself. Well, that's that's another thing we had in common. Uh, we, we, he used to call me on the phone and say, I want to look at what I learned today. And he said, look, look. And so we, he, you know, he called me just to talk about music. That's Tell us very quickly about your jam sessions with him. Well, I remember one time he called me out. And uh, and I happened to be playing the guitar on my bed, and he, I used the phone. He, he would put up, we would be on speaker. Hey, I'm on, look, look. And he'd be playing the piano, and I'd be listening to him singing. And then I said, now listen to me. Well, I know a guy from California, his name is, Great, you know, Professor Gaylord at that time. Professor Gaylord. Yeah, I know a guy from California. His name is Professor Gaylord. He can bend a real railroad spike and he can dodge an arrow and he starts laughing. I, I, I like that a lot. So, you know, we had we had a lot of fun in the in the music. Yeah. You know, sharing stuff. And uh, I remember that particular night when I was singing the blues and making a song about him. He loved it. I don't know he chuckled, you know. <laughs> I love it, Armando. I love it. I listen to mine. <laughs> he would sing something to me. No, it wasn't all, always talking about martial arts. Mm -hmm. You know, he, or if, it, it, one time or another, I was feeling kind of down, and he called me up. So what's wrong? How did he know I was down, you know? Because <laughs> I know. <laughs> and so he started pepping me up and this and that. And I remember him telling me, sometimes we're going to eat peanuts. Survive, Armando. So don't give up, and you just keep striving. So, so I mean, he gave a lot of, you know, he had a lot of, a lot of uh, philosophy and and a lot of uh, ways of, of uh, inspiring you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you were down, he he pep talk you and give you that drive back. Mm -hmm. He was that kind of person. That's interesting. Cause I, I know a lot of people have also mentioned that he was not someone to mess with. That he, he was hard. You know, you don't you don't mess with him. But at the same time, there was the other the softer side. There was some well, talks I mean, yes. and maybe help people out. You mess with him, you were you would be shit. <laughs> <laughs> but most of the time, you know, he was a fun loving guy, man. Yeah. Down the road, like I remember one time, uh, I took him to Mexico. It was after the uh, seminar the following day, Sunday morning, said, I'm going to pick you up. Where are we going? I said, I'm, we're going to Mexico. I said, Mexico? I said, yeah, I'm going to Mexico. I'm going to take you to Mexico. And then... Uh, <laughs> now, were you married at the time? Yeah, I was already married. Was, was everything cool? Suddenly, I'm going to another country? I'll be back on Monday? <laughs> My mother was from Mexico. <laughs> oh, okay, so not a problem then. All right. <laughs> so, I mean... it. it I live where, where, where I live, it's about five, it's right there, but the border's right there. So it was uh -huh. real close, progressive. So, I mean, I, I got cousins out there and everything. So anyway, we're going to Mexico. We're going to Mexico, yeah. What are we going to do in Mexico? So we're going to go shop around and look around. I want you to look, it's, it's going to be filled with people. There's a lot of winter tourists and there's a lot of action. And I said, and also we can drink. We can have a drink and walk around and shop and all that. Really? Let's go to Mexico. <laughs> so we took, we went to Mexico. It was, uh, it was me and him. And at that time, it was me and him and, and, and Frank War. Mm -hmm. Frank. So Frank took a lot of pictures. I kind of regret I didn't take pictures because Frank had the camera and he was in charge of all the pictures. Mm -hmm. I never got any copies of those, but there was a lot of beautiful pictures with Big Grandmaster Gaylord took a picture with his chow hat and with a sarape and and we had a lot of fun, and, and that's that's where we encountered the uh, the bracelets that uh, these bracelets uh -huh. for the first time. So we're walking around in Mexico. Can you see it? Yeah. So this one says a uh, Gaylord method, uh -huh. but the first one that we started, we we, we put Kaju Kimbo on them. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we're walking around. First thing we we cross over to Mexico. 
what are we going to do first? Like, first, we're going to go to a bar and get us a drink. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> All right, let's do it. We get a little drink and start walking around, you know, shopping. We run to a guy who's doing, making these bracelets with names, your name on it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Armando or, you know, whatever name. He already had some made already with names. So I started thinking, uh, you know, I was always thinking of something. I said, you know what? You want to brace it? Ah, what for a bundle? He said, we're going to make one that's going to say, got you Kimbo. I said, yeah, that's a good <laughs> idea. So I told the guy, you know, I spell it out and the guy starts making it. We ended up making 20 of them. Wow, okay. So that's the first time. And I, I remember tying the, the first one on him and I don't think he ever took it off. He never took it off. Yeah, he yeah. loved them. In fact, he would, he would, uh, once in a while, he would uh, send me money so I could go back to Mexico and get more. Get more of them. Nice. And it, well, actually, and also at the same time, we kept walking, and then we saw this guy making these silver rings, bang, 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 with a, a, a hex saw and everything. And that's what we did. We I came in, and another idea came across. Hey, let's put uh, KAA Kaju Kimball on the rings. That's a good idea. So we we had some rings made. Uh, I've got a one here, uh -huh. the silver ring. These are these are the rings that we had made in Me they were made in Mexico. Uh -huh. And uh, well, he loved them. He took. He, we, I mean, we had some several rings made, bracelet. He took them back with him. Uh, so we had a fun time in in Mexico. Yeah. On the way back, we were just hugging like this, skipping <laughs> loop back back to the USA. You know. Happy, uh, a couple of drinks, you know. <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> you have, you're walking like this. <laughs> yeah, you know how it is. So we had a great, great time in Mexico. Mm -hmm. You know, he, my, my, my concern was for him to have not only just come out here and, and teach. I wanted him to, to also, you know, see places. You know, mm -hmm. that's that, that's what I, you know, that's what yeah. I would do. Take so here and there. Looking back, uh, what would you say was the biggest impact he had on the world of martial arts or Kaiju Kembo? Well, How did he change things the most? He left a, a footprint, a legacy for us to, to follow. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, his, his style, his way of thinking. He was, uh, he, I, I love the way he explained a lot of things to me. Like when he would teach me, he would teach me private. Mm -hmm. We had seminars. He would ne never let me be in the seminar. No, 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 no. You're the host. I want you to just make sure everything's going smooth. Mm -hmm. When I need this and this and that, whatever, I'm teaching you tonight. So he would always teach me in private. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I, I was uh, fortunate for that, you know, and blessed for that also. Taking private lessons from him. He taught me about the fifth knuckle. Tell us Basically, about the fifth knuckle. Okay, show me. Show me. Uh, say, Frank, punch Armando. So I want you to do punch out one A. So, you know, so he took, I go in. I, I go with a hammer strike, mm -hmm. right? Okay, that's fine. That's real good. But now I want you to do this. I want you to hit with a fifth knuckle. So that's, that's what he, that's your fifth knuckle. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, oh, okay. So I go here and bang. Oh, and, and right in the pressure points. He, he showed me the pressure points, you know. He, he was really good at pressure points. Right. He loved pressure points. Yeah, yeah. He, he went, you know, he he was very precise where he hit. Mm -hmm. I, I remember those, yes. Like, uh, he come in here, for example, he come in, block, bang, bang, bang. By the time he went here already, he already kicked you in the groin. You know, boom, 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 boom. And then, bang. So, I mean, A, B, C, like he used to explain, mm -hmm. you know. So uh, he, he taught me a lot of uh, a lot of that those kind of way to think, mm -hmm. how to strike, what to hit, how to hit, where to hit, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the form, you know, beautiful form. What in your form? He was very particular about your movements, the way you moved, mm -hmm. you know, and, and uh, it was beautiful. It was just so beautiful the way he. The way, the way, what I learned from him was so beautiful. I see. Yeah. All right, so we're almost finished for, the, for today, for our show. Uh, final question, Grandmaster Saldana. If you could pass any message on to great Grandmaster Gaylord now, what would you want to tell him? 
I want to tell him, for one thing, I want to thank you for one thing. A couple of weeks ago, I was kind of ill, and he came into my dream mm -hmm. about two weeks ago. And, and uh, he was talking to me. He was on the phone, coming on the phone. At the same time, he, he, it was like he was at a drive through ordering some burgers or fries or something, talking to somebody, and then talking, to, how are you? You all right? Yeah, Master King, Lord. And, then, and then I kept calling him. And then, wait a minute, wait a minute. I mean, I mean it, it was a beautiful dream. And yeah. he kind of built my spirit and, and said, got your cable strong, Armando, got your cable strong in the dream. And this has happened recently. So, and I've been even before, not, it's not, you know, it's not mm -hmm. the first time. But this particular time was a very special dream. Mm -hmm. When I needed him the most, mm -hmm. he was there for me. Like he always was, right? And like he always was. And, you know, from heaven, he came to me in a dream when I was ill. Mm -hmm. and, I was, uh, and I was down. Mm -hmm. And he came to me. Just like the time that I told you he called me, that, what's going on? What's wrong? You know, same thing. I mean, th that's the kind of guy he was. I mean, even from heaven, he's watching over us. <laughs> so I've, got lot, I've got a lot of collections of, of, of uh, William Mr. Gator. I mean, I cherish everything that I have from him, you know, mm -hmm. a lot. They mean a lot to me, mm -hmm. you know, his certificates. I mean, yeah, many send me certificates. He even sent me this certificate real quick. Certificate of appreciation to Armando Saldana. An acknowledgement of your commitment, uh, of your continuous support and active participation. I mean, I mean, he, he was always thanking me and, and appreciating. He was, he's a very appreciative person. Mm -hmm. He appreciated a lot. You know, that, that's, that's how he was. A yeah. loving, appreciative person. Mm -hmm. He appreciated everything we did. So that's why, that's why my job is to keep my word to him. I'm not being a ball bouncing around. I'm the Gator method. Bang, bang, boom, boom, pow. <laughs> as it should be well thank you grandmaster for joining us for those of you at home thank you for tuning in feel free to keep watching our shows check out our other podcasts and stay tuned for our next episode until then stay strong stay kaju gamble strong mahalo hello It's possible to tell the sun to leave the sky. It's just impossible. It's impossible as a baby not to cry. It's just impossible. Can I hold you? Closer to me and I feel you going through me with the second that I've never thank of you. Can the ocean keep from rushing? the show is just impossible if I had you could I ever want for more it's just impossible and tomorrow should you ask me for the world Somehow I get it, I would sell my very soul and not regret it. But without your love, it's just impossible. Can the ocean keep from rushing to the shore? It's just impossible. I get it. I was.
Impossible, impossible, impossible.